This is an easy step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do the peephole chevron stitch. I'm going to be using a 4mm hook and some cotton yarn size 3. So for this stitch, you want to start with a foundation chain that's a multiple of 10 plus 2. So in my case, I have 22 chains. For row 1, we're going to skip the first 2 chains and onto the third, do 1 double crochet. This two chains that you skipped does count as a stitch, just so you know. Now you want to do one double crochet into each of the next three chains. So we're going to do one, two, and three. Essentially after the chain two, you want to have four double crochets. So now you're going to skip two chains and do one double crochet into each of the next four chains. By skipping two chains, you're essentially creating a valley. So now that's two. And just so you know, I have 500 other stitches coming your way in 2024. So make sure to subscribe to not miss out. And four. Now you want to do chain two and do one double crochet in each of the next four chains. And this chain two that you did creates essentially a peak. So that's one, two, three, and four. So your row repeat begins uh, when you skip the two chains, then you do four double crochets, chain two, four double crochets. So you want to repeat that until the end of your row and you're going to have six chains left. So two, four, six for me. Uh, so in this case, I'm going to do another valley, skipping two. And now I'm going to finish it by just doing one double crochet in each of the next three chains. So that's one, two and three and you should be left with only one chain and into that chain you want to do two double crochets so that's one and two and this is the end of row one row two you're going to start with a chain three one two three and flip your work. This chain three does count as a double crochet. Now you want to double crochet into the first stitch. Now you want to double crochet into each of the next three stitches. So here's one, two, three up, sorry, next stitch, three. Now you're gonna skip two chains or two stitches and do one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. So we've skipped two, that's one, two, and three. And we've arrived at the peak so into the chain two that we worked previously, you're going to insert one double crochet and it's into the chain space, by the way. One double crochet, a chain two, and one double crochet into the same chain space. So that's gonna give you your peak of this row. And now you wanna do one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. And that is your row repeat. So you want to repeat that until the end of the row. And when you get to the end of the row, um, in my case, I'm ending at a, at, a peak, at a valley. So I'm gonna skip the next two stitches and work one double crochet in each of the next three. So that's one, two, and three. And 
and onto the turning chain, you wanna do two double crochets to finish this row. So on top of the turning chain, I'm gonna do two double crochets into the same place. And this here is the end of row two. So now for this stitch, you essentially wanna repeat row two back and forth until you get to the desired length of your work. And this is what it looks like. It has these like little holes in the middle. That's why it's a peephole. Very simple. It's just double crochets, chains, uh, and some skips. Subscribe to my channel.